Okay, so this is a quick video showing um, N64 emulator running on a rooted Galaxy Nexus. So, it's the phone here. Uh, this is running stock Android ROM at the moment. So, no custom ROM. And I've hooked it up with a PS3 controller using a program called 6-axis control. So, first thing to do Let's open the app here. So you can connect the device. It starts the driver. It's listening for the controller. Turn on the controller, and that's linked there. Okay, so we've got the controller hopefully connected to the phone. It can be a bit fiddly sometimes, so we're going to load up the emulator which is N64 for Joy which is the one that I'm going to be using for this so settings going to make sure we've turned off the virtual keypad because we don't need that because we're going to be using the PS3 controller and the input settings is for mapping the buttons which you need to do the first time you load the emulator so we're going to go back out of there and we're going to choose a game I've got a few here so let's try Mario Kart 64 It's going to load up. Look at all those fingerprints. So shiny. So, let's hope this works. So, we've got the controller connected here. So, the start button. There we go, got the right one. So, we should be able to go through these. Grand Prix. Right, so now we can just sit here and play Mario Kart. So it took me a while to work out that I'd inadvertently bound fire your box as down analog stick, which obviously isn't much use, so I've sorted that out now. Look at that, flawless start, really good. So you can use the uh, analog or the, the D-pad. But it runs pretty good. Um, a few little bugs or glitches, but yeah, it's not too bad. So bounce around, do all the good stuff like Mario, and it runs really well. Um, obviously, I wouldn't really recommend using it with the virtual keyboard because it's pretty bad. But with a controller, it's brilliant. Okay, so my <laughs> controller has a. Uh, run out of battery so it disconnected so it's just charging over there um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to do um, takes a bit of fiddling you need a rooted phone to get the PS3 controller to work with it but you can use the on-screen keyboards I wouldn't recommend it though it's a bit fiddly so it's cool when it gets working um, there's also a PS1 emulator available called well, I'm using FPSE so I can Again, you set up the input in here, same as how you did with the N64 emulator. Okay, so the control is all mapped now, so we're just going to go and load up. Let's try quad power racing. See, the on-screen keyboard's there, but it disappears when you change the orientation to landscape. I think. There we go. How exciting. Look at that. So once this guy's finished driving around, hopefully we'll show you something that works. Hopefully the controller won't run out of batteries like it did last time. So there we go, it's working it. So I'm, I think I might be this dashing looking man. 
and go through again, choose a track. I've never played this game. I didn't even I didn't even own a PS1, so let me race. Let me do something. Oh god. Okay, so we're in the race now. Oh no. I don't know how to do anything. Wait, did I forget to bind? Right. I did, didn't I? Good. So let's pause that. Okay, so I've <laughs> correctly bound right to actually move right. So now we have full control of my little quad bike man. Wow, look at all these buttons. What have I pressed? Okay, so that changes camera. So I'm pretty, pretty good at this game. We've established. Anyway, that's enough of that. So go in here. All working with the PS3 controller, and then you can just on the device eject the ISO and load another. So there you go. Uh, not that I particularly do tutorial videos. Um, I just wanted to do this because it took me a bit of fiddling to get it working. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.